Hello. Today we're going to be reviewing watOS Release 10. And if you're not familiar, watOS is a power-efficient Linux distribution that's based on Ubuntu. And one of the niceties of that is when a distribution is uh, based on Ubuntu, because Ubuntu is such a major mainstream distribution, uh, it's pretty common that you'll find good application support as well as community support uh, for that distribution, which I believe is the case uh, with watOS Release 10 here. So as we take a look, you can kind of uh, see the desktop. Um, aesthetically, the distribution is very, very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, very nicely done with the graphics and icons. The overall theme flows really smoothly. I'm definitely a fan of that. So on the desktop, we can see we've got our trash can, our file manager, Firefox, our media player. Uh, and I am running a virtual machine, so I'm running the live instance. Um, so down here, I have the option to install uh, watOS Release 10. And I'm running this with just two gigs of memory and one processor and 18 gigs of hard drive space. So down here in the taskbar, you can see we can launch the file manager. And as we get in here, this is actually really nice. We've got our shortcuts on the left-hand side. Um, one of the things about this that I particularly enjoy is that you can go into the address bar here and type. So if we wanted to go into desktop, we could simply type desktop and return. And now we've seen what's in the desktop folder. Um, and while it may not seem like that big of a deal, if you've ever dealt with Windows and done file transfers um, from place to place, it's really nice to have the address bar on the top and just be able to type your location. Uh, sometimes your locations will be the same place except uh, you know, one letter change for uh, a different file location on a different box. So kind of nice to have that up there. Overall, File Manager is obviously really easy to use. Uh, we can click around. We can go wherever we want to go in our home folder. Um, really nicely done. We can also drop into the shell and take a look at terminal. Again, I'm running a, a live instance, so there's really nothing to look at in here, but we can navigate around. We can change directories and go to the root. Just kind of look and see all the fun stuff in there. Overall, very snappy distribution as well. Everything opens and closes really quickly. Down here, we can open Firefox. And if you get a chance, go to uh, the website. So it's planetwatt.com forward slash new. Um, give them some clicks. It's a really nicely done site. Uh, it's based out of Portland, Oregon. Um, so if you're in the United States, uh, these guys are local. So definitely uh, give them some props. Maybe make a donation because uh, the distribution is really good. And uh, I'm sure a lot of the developers have worked really, really hard on this. But if you go to their website, it's kind of nice. You can go check out the FAQ or their blog. Uh, get some questions answered if you have any about watOS. Um, again, nice, simple website. The information is there. Uh, the wiki right here is actually really good, too. So if you go to the website, definitely check out the wiki. Um, there's lots of information on there. So Firefox is your default browser, as we're looking at right now. Uh, Lollipop is your media player. Um, personally, this is probably the one thing that I'm not a huge fan of. It's okay. Uh, I'm definitely much more a fan of VLC. Um, but you can see here... You can play all your music through Lollipop, and it should work just fine. As we go here and take a look at the menu, um, one of the really nice things is uh, they give you KeyPass, which is an awesome password manager. Um, comes default with uh, watOS Release 10. Really nice if you don't store your passwords digitally. Um, I would suggest doing it. It's actually really nice, especially if you install this as your daily driver and you're going to use it. Um, KeyPass is a great application, so really nice that they um, include that with the release. And then in here, too, we can see um, our text editor is Leafpad. So if you're a developer, Leafpad will work. Um, Genie is another application you can download and install, but Leafpad will work just well uh, also. And then we can see we also have, obviously, a calculator, more password management stuff, um, screenshot, which is really nice, and uh, X-Archiver. Graphics, you've got your PDF viewer and Gthumb. Internet, um, we looked at Firefox. Really nice that we have FileZilla. So if you're into development at all and you have to transfer files, this is a great program to do it, um, and it's installed by default, which is really nice. So also have transmission uh, if you want to download Linux ISOs uh, via torrent. In Office here, it's just a document viewer. Sound and video, we have Lollipop and False Audio. System tools, you can see what we have here. Um, the one thing I do want to highlight is the GW package installer. So this is really cool, um, as I was saying earlier. If you want to install a Debian-based uh, software package, this is what you'll use to do it. Um, 
So for instance, if I wanted to install um, Atom as an editor, I could go out to the website, download it, and, and I'd use this package installer to install it to the Watt OS system. So really nice that they've included that. And again, in system tools, you can see we have terminal, and um, we can go in uh, as root to the file manager. We can also take a look at uh, task manager. Again, one of the nice things about this distribution, really, really low resource usage. So we can see just kind of idling. We're a little bit under 250 megabytes of memory, which is really low and great. Um, and we're not really taxing the CPU right now. But um, it's a great distribution to revive old computers. Uh, definitely like it, especially because of the aesthetically pleasing layout that uh, the developers have put together. Just really, really nicely done. So as we go back in here too, um, this is probably the one thing where I can say this distribution really excels for a what you would consider light distribution or something you use on old PCs. Uh, under preferences, you've just got a plethora of things that you can go into. Um, additional drivers, obviously Adobe Flash, um, your monitor settings, network connections, screen savers. Uh, we can do the software update, um, Synaptic Package Manager, which is really nice. So if you want to go in here and again look for packages, You can see here, you know, we can look for GNOME Do and see if they have it. So, but just really nice uh, that they put this in here. So, definitely a well done distribution. Um, even if you're not looking to resurrect an old PC, um, as a daily driver, I think this would be really nice, especially if you're coming over from a, a Windows or a Mac environment. You're not that familiar with Linux. Um, this is really out of the box and easy distribution to use. Um, Kind of similar to Linux Mint, I would say, in terms of its look and feel, like a nice, crisp look and feel. Um, easy to use like Linux Mint, but obviously different. So just a really nicely done distribution. Definitely uh, give their website some clicks and check this distribution out if you get a chance. Hope you enjoyed the review.